Well, Golden Eagles start when they 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 stay pretty much together year round loosely, but but they really get an intense uh, an intense type of bond come January and February, and they start bringing sticks to their nest. Now, they don't have a nest though. They have four to five nests, but the female will pick December or January which nest she wants to use, and uh, she'll let the male know that. So they'll both start bringing sticks to that nest. Uh, typically, the female is the one who does most of the assembly. Now, they rotate the use. We don't know what the parameters are, but the female, whichever nest she wants to use, she will pick. And every, again, again, they add nesting material yearly. Golden eagles prefer to nest on cliffs, and uh, they don't always have to, but those cliffs sometimes are thousands of feet up, or in this case, maybe 20 feet off the ground. Take a look at this same nest. From this angle, you can see the baby inside, down there towards the bottom, and you can see up at the top of the photo how close the freeway is. So we think of them as very much being a wilderness species, but sometimes they can be surprisingly tolerant of a certain level of, of, of human disturbance. Now nests can get up to 20 feet high. As you can see this one all the way down to the bottom of the picture. Uh, there's mud and nest all the way to the top. There's a baby sitting just enjoying the view. Well eventually the nest will fall down. You can't build forever. They just rebuild the nest when it falls. And some of these sites have likely been used for thousands of years. Um, and if they don't use them, uh, here in northern Utah, a lot of times hawks or ravens will take over the site. So it seems that a site, whether the nest is huge or small, if it's, if it's a valued, prominent site, birds all want it. And of course, golden eagles get it if they choose it. But if they don't, ravens and hawks may take over. <clears throat> Now, building the nest and adding to it is an act of romantic social bonding. Uh, the nest is not torn apart uh, yearly as some sort of a training ritual for young birds. So that act of bringing sticks is, is again, it bonds the couple. Now, once that's done and once the babies are, are hatched, then that's no longer something that happens, but it's still an attempt. Kind of think of it as bringing flowers for a date to let a let a lady know you you are you you fancy her, you like her. Um, I witnessed an interesting thing at a nest at White Rocks, Utah, on a year when prey was scarce, and I watched the female sitting in the nest for hours. I was right under the nest, and the male finally came back, and he came back with no food. And I watched him fly up and I thought, what does he have? He had a big piece of sagebrush, a big stick to add to the nest. Now remember, the babies had hatched. There was no need to bring that. But it was his way of saying, look, I've been hunting for hours. I've had no success. I haven't found a thing. But here's a stick to show I I'm still committed to you. And I watched. She threw it out the nest and she shoved him out, just kind of chased him out and said, you know, basically, no, go back and get some food. So, but that was an interesting example of where a, a uh, something like that could still be viewed as a way to show commitment, even though food is what was needed. So there's some stupid myths. Do not spread these. These go around on the internet. Uh, I hear them a lot at uh, scout programs. I hear them at motivational speakers use these. These are not true in any way and do not share them. The first one is called the push. And it's basically saying that an eagle builds a nest with pointy sticks pointing straight up and down and then it builds the rest of the nest over that. And when the babies get ready to fly, it it starts to take chunks from the nest away a little more each day so the eagles have to balance and finally they're balancing on these pointy uncomfortable sticks and then finally the mother gives the best gift she could give which is the push and she flies up and pushes the babies out of the nest this is not true at all in any way shape or form 100 percent fabrication no truth to it at all so don't pass that one around the second one there's a similar thing where it says that in order to teach her babies to fly that the babies climb up on their mother's wing and hold on to her feathers and she flies up and she'll dump them off and they fall out of the sky so they can feel the wind in their wings and she catches them on her back before they hit the ground and does that every day to teach them how to fly 100% lie 
It's just an entertaining, inspirational lie that couldn't be further from the truth. And the third one, which is probably the worst, is this. It says, Eagles will get to be like 50 years old, and then they just die. They just keel over dead, unless, because their babies have left the nest, and so now they go through this midlife crisis, and they have to leave their mate and go up to the top of a mountain alone. And there they have to, there's two versions. Number one, they have to you know, rip out their feathers and rip out their talons and bash their head on a rock until their beak falls off. And then they have to grow new feathers and grow new, new, new talons and a new beak. Now, the other version is just that instead of ripping off their talons and whacking their beak, that they just fall off on their own, but that they still have to rip off their feathers. Uh, their claws, their talons are attached to their body. Your beak is your face. It's not just an appendage that can fall off. Um, and the story goes that if they do this, they'll live another 50 years. So somebody invented this as a way to inspire humans who are going through a midlife crisis. 100% lie, no truth to it. But I keep seeing these uh, being passed around to teary-eyed audiences. Okay, back to the live Golden Eagles and the truth. This is the end of part two of this PowerPoint. Uh, stick around for part three to see the rest of the presentation.